Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Geminis. 29, to be enlightened. Lighten up. This is 11 energy. This is Libra energy. This is that balance wanting to come in. And right now, Geminis, definitely watch your favorite astrologer. There's some interesting things going on with us, Geminis. So watch your favorite astrologer. Someone out there needs to be doing comedy or at least looking at things from a very different perspective. Uh, my creative Geminis, this is that good sort of duality that you bring. Um, someone needs to do comedy. So if someone's thinking about doing comedy, get up there, get you a, a solid five minutes and go to an open mic night or whatever interests you, Geminis. Some of you, you need to be out there putting forth what it is you want to do. But it keeps coming up comedian energy. So I like that with you, Geminis. Some of you could be a props comic. Some of you get you a solid five. At least give it a try. At least give it a try. Maybe some of you are going to do some improv. I don't know. Uh, Soundheim energy with you. Performance energy in regard to you, Geminis. There's a lot of fun vibes. Uh, whether this is something you want to do. Uh, some of you, this could just be fun. So, you need to get out of your comfort zone, Geminis. You need to get out of your comfort zone. Four of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Those are you, Geminis. Your value goes up when you're not so available. This is like good marketing as well, Geminis. So, those of you in marketing, uh, this is fun for you. There's a lot of complexity with you, Geminis. So, take what's yours, leave what's not. And let's see what you got going on here, Geminis. Oh, you manifesting. Geminis, I hope you're finding the power of positivity. I hope you're uh, really focused on what it is you want to do. This is a lot of achievement goals, Geminis. Mm. What are you doing, Geminis? Six of Wands. There's the dough. That's like Gabriel blowing that horn. So, damn Geminis. Some of you may get the chance to go to the Tony Awards. Mm. There you are, Geminis, crowning your, your read already. You're showing up. There's a lot of temptation energy around you too, Geminis. So some of you, with regards to relationships or partnership, your value goes up the less available that you are. I don't feel it's lack of opportunities with you, Gemini. Some of you, it's just, what what's the right opportunity versus what's just the same old, same old? Uh, how you hold yourself in regard to uh, what it is you're looking for with relationships or partnerships. There should be a lot of clarity with you on that, Geminis. Ooh, there's that world energy. Geminis, time for you to show up. Trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. Some of you, it's time you got off book. So what do you need to focus on, Geminis? What do you need to focus on? And there's that Aquarius energy. Shine bright like a diamond. Seven of Wands. Five of Cups. Oh. There's a lot of heartbroken energy with you around you, Geminis. That Three of Cups. I feel like you're the missed opportunity. Once you sort of valued yourself, this is like fucking marketing, right? Uh... Uh, the less available something is, the more the value goes up. So holding yourself in higher regard, looking at things, uh, looking at your relationships or partnerships differently. It's it's not lack of opportunities, Geminis. You might think it's redundant when I say if you wanted to date, you would be dating. But if you wanted to date, you would be dating. So if that's not your focus, that's not your focus. But be mindful of just the temptation there. Especially those of you that are holding yourself in higher regard here. You're looking at yourself and appreciating yourself. Taking care of yourself. Showing up. Work, love, life energy. There's the six of cups. That goes back to that having fun. Someone wants to be a comedian or someone should focus on comedy. Because uh, get you a, a type five and just do some open mics. Get out there and just, even if you're just doing it for fun, this could be a good improv class for you, Gemini's, as well. There's so much with you that you should be definitely rather busy 
Gemini is doing the work. Now's a good time for that. There's that hermit energy. But that also brings your value up, makes you far more interesting. And I definitely feel like you're attracting attention. It's not lack of opportunities with you, Geminis. But don't piss around with a, an opportunity that isn't going to go anywhere and miss out on a better opportunity. So make smarter choices. Damn, I love this with you, Geminis. The Magician Energy, the Four of Swords. This is that sort of... Uh, uh, who's trying to interest you right now? There's the page. This is that opportunity. Some of you, yeah, it could be a relationship or partnership, but is it really what you're really looking for? The Will of Fortune down here. Gemini's, you're not going to be single for long, but you need to be in the right sort of opportunity. You need to be in the right sort of energy, the right... Oh, what's the word here? There needs to be an easiness to a relationship or partnership. So those of you that want to overcomplicate things where things don't work, there needs to be a, an openness, a very a healing sort of connection here. Something that is, is going to be very beneficial to you instead of just stuck stagnant. That's a caduceus. So it should be a healing relationship or partnership. Instead of just a distractor relationship or partnership. Now, you know you, Geminis. Take what's yours and leave what's not. But it's not lack of opportunities. It's the choices that you make regarding your relationships or partnerships. Especially your expectations. Knight of Pentacles, trust the stagnation. There's that sort of switch up in energy, Geminis. The Three of Cups, and the winner is Queen of Cups there, Geminis. It's not lack of uh, love. It's not lack of opportunity, Geminis. Those of you that's loving yourself, giving to yourself, you're sending out that vibe, which attracts all types of relationships or partnerships. Uh, not all good, not all worth your time, energy, or effort. There's a lot of temptation. So... This is like, don't fill up on the salad if you got a steak coming. Uh, don't fill up on the bread and uh, if you got a steak coming. So you could have a lot of filler relationships or partnerships, but they could distract you from the better opportunities that come along. So it's not lack of. It's uh, who or what's worth your time, energy, or attention. Ooh, Gemini's. I love this with you. Six of Swords to the Four of Wands. A lot of you are going to be in good partnerships, good relationships, but there's some... It's like the timing, the the opportunity. There's like a growth with this. There's a balanced energy with this, Gemini's. It's a very... It's a very easy type relationship or partnership. But you got to weed through a lot of that sort of bullshit vibes too. Which Geminis, I think a lot of you are sending out that Seven of Cups vibe. So if you're a Gemini that just likes relationships or partnerships, that's the sort of uh, smog energy. That's the sort of lingering energy here. I just feel like you're on the opposite side of that Seven of Cups though, Geminis. So that's dependent upon where your uh, emotions lie, where your sort of uh, love opportunities are about, what types of relationships or partnerships that you're interested in. There's plenty of seven of cups. You don't have to be alone. If you wanted to be dating, you would be dating. But the difference is a seven of cups relationship or partnership or a relationship or partnership that really brings about some beautiful healing energy, like a good working relationship or partnership, a relationship that can grow, that's healing for both you and your partner. So ooh, that's the complexity, though, but there's a lot of complexity with you, Geminis. There's a lot of temptation energy, too, Geminis. Let's just be honest. You got some choices to make. <laughs> 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear sweet Gemini's. Happy birthday to you. Ego trap, check yourself. Ego, judgmental thinking, and superiority complex. There you go, Gemini's. You notice the spider web energy there? What is this about with you, Geminis? Those of you with relationships or partnerships, the Seven of Cups, that's that sort of, that's a relationships or partnerships that can keep you very stuck or stagnant too. So, damn Geminis. It's, it's not lack of opportunities. It's the type of relationships or partnerships that you sort of attract to you, Geminis. Hmm. Damn, Gemini's. A lot of complexity with you. It is not easy energy. This is this should be a very interesting time for you as well, Gemini's. And Gemini's, some of you might have a little bit of an ego. But I don't feel like it's overwhelming. Some of you, you need to kind of establish a healthy ego, right? I mean, narcissism is it it there's a positive side to it too. It's uh it's not all negative. So look at a thing from a different perspective. In regard to relationships or partnerships, I mean, Jesus, Gemini's, what's your expectations there? That's a very strong energy to Gemini's. So, damn, King of Pentacles. Grounded and focused. Look at it there at the Two of Cups. A lot of wish fulfillment with you, Gemini's. But some of you, it's going to be personal wish fulfillment first. And that brings about very good healing relationships or partnerships. So damn, Geminis, what's your expectations? What's your expectations? Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. A lot of you just sort of basic energies, Seven of Cups energies. It's like, don't fill up on the bread if you got steak coming. Uh, don't fill up on the uh, the hors d'oeuvres if you got dinner coming. So this is sort of planning out. Those of you that do like the buffets, to know to go to the good stuff instead of the, the, the stuff that's just sort of filler, right? It's, it's not lack of opportunities, Gemini. It's just, damn. Some are just sort of filler vibes, too. Mm. That's that Libra energy, hangman energy. There at the Queen of Swords. <laughs> you can say stuck or stagnant, or you can move forward from this. A uh, lot of communication with you, Gemini's, too. So, damn. You can have whatever you like, Gemini's. It's uh, the choice is yours. It's whatever uh, you're sort of looking at, what's more important to you. How you feel about yourself as well, Gemini's? Mm. Interesting energy, Gemini's. I hope you're loving it. Seven of Pentacles. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer, Gemini's. Those of you, if you haven't. A lot of interesting things going on with Gemini's right now. Ooh, there's my Empress energy. There you are, Gemini's. Good creative energy. That's a good creative energy. Do you believe in miracles, Geminis? Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in this sort of... It's not like fairy tale happily ever after, but some of you, good working relationships or partnerships that are worth the time, energy, and attention afforded with that Virgo vibe. Geminis, I definitely feel like someone could be holding you in high regards right now, but I don't think that that's a relationship or partnership that you've kind of come in contact with yet, that uh, that opportunity has uh, uh, allowed itself. Because some of you, you need to upgrade. You need to upgrade. <laughs> 
Sweet Jesus, Gemini's. Anything else for my Gemini Collective? One more Gemini's. Forty-four. Your words create worlds. Where's my creatives at? Who's the comedian? Someone needs to do comedy. Get you a, a tight five and do an open mic night. Some y'all get out there. This is a good manifesting energy with you, Gemini's. If you want better relationships or partnerships, you got to pick better relations or, or partners, right? Uh, focus on you. It's a good creative vibe, Gemini's. So my creatives, focus on that. Because there's your opposite on the Zodiac, Sagittarius. This is also Mama Roo, right? You don't love yourself. How the hell are you going to love anybody else? So where's that positivity in regard to relationships or partnerships, Gemini's? Because there is definitely a good relationship or partnership wanting to come in. But it's a very healing relationship or partnership. Not going to be a lot of drama. Not going to be a lot of bullshit. And it's probably not going to be an overwhelming type relationship right it's going to be just very plain and very uh non-eventful but a very good opportunity oh gemini's <laughs> pull that focus back on you Drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, stay moisturized, wear your fucking sunscreen, Gemini's. If you get the chance, maybe get you some spa treatments or at least treat yourself, right? Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. There's some interesting things, Gemini's. Allow this switch up. Get celebratory energy with you too, Gemini's. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Good luck, God bless, peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe, Gemini's.